everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario, and in this episode, or rather, in the last episode, we took care of Lava Piranha, and we also, wait, no, we didn't, that was the episode before it, you can tell I'm batch recording now, <laughs> last episode we took care of Junior Troopa, and ran around taking care of errands. We also took care of one of the super bosses, Kent C. Koopa. Which, and gave us quite a little bit less challenge than I thought. Now we're trying to find out who the hell Igor is in this episode. I mean, I know one version of Igor, but he's not even in this game series. Shop. How can I scare you today? Another letter to be delivered. Postman's job is never done. Letter? Oh, right. More list. Weird. This order's from Gusty Gulch. That's right around the corner. Can't they just come here? Oh, well. Motto is from Boo to you with a smile. Take this for your trouble. Oh boy, here we go. I'm not looking forward to this fight. Because if I'm right, I'll have to fight the super blooper. The super blooper is a giant pain in the ass to fight. harder beings, and the hardest being than that is freaking uh, the next chapter boss. <laughs> oh, boy. Blooper! Yep, that's it. the super blooper. This guy is so freaking uh, powerful. It is the prerequisite Nintendo enemy that gives birth to more enemies to help itself out. Yeah, it's one of those. <sighs> Just like Goma from Ocarina of Time. I don't feel particularly good about doing that, but it has to be done. And it'll keep do- oh, it's just really, really bad now. I think when it's mad, its attack's pretty much double. Yeah, ouch. I may as 
as well show you what this does. Oh, that's three each. Now, I'm gonna refresh. Let's go back, take a nap, and then come back to the Toad Town Tunnels. I do not feel comfortable doing this without full star energy. Now, if I'm right, that should be all the pipes that we can open up. means, aside from getting into Chapter 7, we have gone about as far as we can go through the Toad Town Tunnels. We can't quite do that yet. Thirteen. 
13. Which means we're actually halfway done with the friggin' game. Okay, this is Rip Cheeto. He sells a bunch of stuff. He sells three star pieces and a badge. The big thing is, you don't know what he's going to sell you, but it all costs the same. It all costs 64 coins. Odd key. Still, he's really, really tough. 
and I believe... Okay, he doesn't have de defense, but still. Hmm, nice maneuver. Yeah, he does eight attack. Thankfully, this guy doesn't freaking heal. This is what Smooch does. It's exactly what you think. It sure is expensive, though. I've yet to truly begin fighting back. My life sure with us. Oh, my puppy wants in. So freaking lucky. Alright, Master is down. Hmm, that was a solid fight. Very well, I give you this. Fourth degree card. You are welcome to train here with us anytime. Alright. Fourth degree card? Whoa, amazing. You rule, Mario. You must be crazy strong. You've no idea. And I'm not going back down in those toad tunnels or anywhere in flower fields without saving because we are at one hit point. to 
save. And we may as well see what's so big about this garden. The bulbs come from a flower-filled land called Flower Fields. They say the flowers in Flower Fields are in trouble. To get the flower field, you need four kinds of seeds that only the bulbs possess. But where are they? Um... I already got them. We see all those bulb plant paying off. And the last one. And with that, here's that mystical doorway there. Flowers were blooming, but a door appeared. You must be able to go for flower fields from here. Yeah, I'll help later. charge Merle's spell, but that would take a little bit of grinding for money. Hmm. I think I'll actually go into the chapter next. What do you want? It's a Bowser's minions. Please, save us! Wood. I'm the oldest tree here in Flower Fields, the land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the star spirits and the rest of the world, aren't you? Very noble. If that's true, then your arrival means a star spirit is here in our land. I'd help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. For one, I can't move, but two, Flower Fields is in trouble. A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. They brought clouds to our sunny sky and it has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We're all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. Rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course, it must be the star spirit you're searching for. Oh, you're gonna defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, that would make the wishes of flower fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky on what we call the Cloudy Climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find a magical bean or something that grows high. 
Now wait a minute. There is a flower that has a magical beam somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Oh, she's off to the east. Wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. Other flowers and bulbs around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. Oh boy. Lots of fetch quests in this one. And one of the derpiest flowers ever made. <laughs> yeah, Flower Fields is quite possibly one of the most involved, um, and complicated dungeons there is.
Monty Moles. Oh, these guys are a little tougher than the ones in Mount Rugged.
these, these guys don't actually leap out and start jumping on you. They just burrow. Alright, that's all of them. Oh, yippee! Hooray! Hurrah! Yahoo! Wee! You got rid of all the Monty Moles. Oh, thank you, thank you. To show you how grateful I am, I shall give you this magical bean. Here you are! It's twitching as if to say, plant me this instant. Hmm? Yes, my nickname is Petunia. Er, my name is Petunia. Some call me the Seed Maniac. <laughs> nice to meet you. By the way, about that magical bean I gave you, you should have planted it. Why not? Because as a seed, it'll always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and it sprouts up, it'll never be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No! Let's see. Something over there, but we can't quite do anything with that yet. And I need to avoid fighting. We actually need to stop this video right now. So I will cut this off right here, and I will see you next time.